Yeah. All right, box and talk. So the first thing I want to go through is Bob Arum saying that the Fury and Usyk fight could be signed as as of next week. That fight could actually be all finalized. Have to wait and see. We just have to wait and see because we one thing we know when it comes to yeah when it comes to um, Tyson Fury. Unless Tyson Fury is in that ring, I'm, I'm not believing it. So, that, like I said, that's me. Everyone could have their own opinion, but that's just me. Um, yeah, nothing really much I could yeah, say about that. Uh, whatever fights and what else, was, what else is going on in the boxing scene, as we all know. Oh, yeah, here about Terence Crawford would be interested in fighting Errol Spence in the UK. Please, please let that happen. Let me tell you something. If they, if Crawford and Spence was going to take this fight to the UK, do you know the numbers that will do? Like, they, it, it'd be surprising. Like, that would definitely sell out the O2. And you know what it is? It's a fight for the hardcores. The hardcores will watch that. Yeah, that, I, I'll, I'll be the first one there getting my ticket. Like, please, if you could, if you could get this fight over in the UK, mate, it's worth the wait. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Sorry about that. Just want to see. Just going through. Um, yeah, we well, see something actually on the IFL interview in regards in regards to Eddie Hearn saying about he doesn't believe Conor Ben should get a ban based on. Information that he sees, that he's um, seen. Hello, Eddie Hearn. I'm going to say this. You've seen this information. The public hasn't. So, yeah. As far as I... Like I said, my, my views on what's going on with um, Conor Ben is still out. But I'm going to be honest with you. He does look guilty. He does look guilty. So, yeah. If if he's um, if he's innocent, uh, I would like to see more. Yeah, I would like to see more information, please. And I want to, yeah, I want some interviews and some real conversations and real, real interviews where you're not um, getting us tailored those tailored or pre-rehearsed questions not saying that you do any um, pre-rehearsed interviews and all that but as in getting your questions before the actual interview uh, I don't know so yeah we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna leave it like that uh, what else have we got going on Jam- Jamal Charlo now I'm gonna have to talk about this guy like unlike unlike your brother Jamel, Jamal, you are a letdown. Like I see the other week that you were there out calling Bivol, saying about fighting Bivol, mate. Stop clout chasing. Because that's what you're just doing. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna do a um, I'm gonna come up with a new series and yeah. Jamal Charlo is going to be on the, you're going to be the first one on, the, on that list because you know what compared to your brother now your brother Jamel is doing bits now obviously I know he's got Jamel's got um, Tim Zhu sometime in January I believe but Jamal I hear you talking about yeah uh, you want to get this fight on with Bivol mate what have you done to get that shot with Bivol what if, like, yeah, you, you, yeah, you beat Devonchenko. You know what? And you've done a better job than Triple G. Cludos and all that kind of stuff there. And, uh, and I'll call it for what it was. And I thought that was a great performance the way you handled um, Devonchenko. But really, what have you done? You ain't done nothing. So, allow that talk. Then I'm hearing as well, you're, you're there talking about uh, David Benavides and Kayla Plant. And then Kayla Plant put you on blast saying how, oh, yeah, well... We you was off for the same contract, Benavides responded. You didn't. So yeah, allow the allow the clout chasing thing. So but yeah, I'll, I'll get on. To, I will definitely definitely have to get on to you. 
because the stuff that you the stuff that you come out with is just yeah it's just straight out ridiculous so yeah uh what else we got going on oh yeah we have um Dana Seas against Rocky Fielding uh for the which, yeah for the Commonwealth strap okay that that'd be a I, I would I would go with Dana Seas if I'm honest with you but that yeah I would definitely go with Dana Seas so yeah, we will see how we see how that prevails. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh yeah, I've yeah something about Lawrence O'Coli. He's got his um mandatory, mate. Yeah, that to be honest with you, that's all a mess right now with the whole Eddie Hearn and O'Coli match room and O'Coli saga. So, hope hope it all gets sorted. Austin Sharp plans to multitask runs bare knuckle and bottom. Okay, okay, cool. Wow. You know what? I didn't even see this. Josh Warrington vows to end Luis Lopez. Keep effing doubting me. Okay. Canelo Alvarez very likely to face John Ryder in May. Yeah, you know what? a weird one actually because I don't think whether obviously the O2 110% the O2 they'll sell out that O2 they'll 110% sell out that O2 but will Canelo Alvarez sell out a stadium stadium in the UK uh, no I, I don't I don't think so I generally don't and it's definitely not against uh, John Ryder um to be honest with you, obviously if this fight did happen and that's Conor Ben and Eubank, Eubank beat Ben, yeah, the commercial value for Eubank will be high that Eubank could actually go in there against uh, Canelo. Sorry guys, no, it's very unprofessional, but it's late, early, early hours I'm doing this video. But yeah, uh, Eubank against... Canelo, I could see that doing a stadium, but John Ryder against Canelo Alvarez, no chance. Like I'll be real with you, if that if that sells out, if that if that done Wembley and it sold out, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be shocked. Yeah, because I cannot, I can't, I can't see that. Um, Taylor catch or rematch pushed back until February. Yeah, that's understandable because we have the. Um, Eubank and Smith on pay per view. Yep, cool. I hope that's one thing. I hope they don't try to think about putting that on pay per view. Please do not do that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Chocolatito admits Estrada rubber match was the most difficult. Yeah. yeah, it was a fight though. I ain't gonna lie. It was a fight, but definitely Estrada won that. The, the third one. So, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Go from the Josh Kaylor to kick his ass in the UK. Yep, cool, cool, cool. You do talk a lot. Oh, jeez, I have to admit, Mills, Mills Lane, legendary. Apologize for the cut out there. Uh, yeah, Mills Lane, legendary Hall of Famer referee, passed away at age eighty-five. Yeah, one of the one of the greats. Uh, obviously, well, everyone knows about the whole Mike Tyson and Holyfield. So, yeah, um, yeah, great, great legend. Huh, that's a thing with life. But yeah, uh, we got Otto Wallen, um, his promoter, spoken with her in regards to the Anthony Joshua fight. Yeah, like I said, there's all these these rumors, rumors, rumors like that. Yeah, unless the fight's happening, yeah, don't really want to know about it. You know, uh, what else we got going on? Da -da 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 -da. Uh, yeah, yeah. Once again, Jamal Chow hoping to face oh, whatever man. 
like I said, I'm going to be doing it. I need to come up with a series, actually, and I'm going to put Jamal Charlo. He's going to be the first one on it. He's definitely going to be the first one on it. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'm going to come up, I'll come up with a name. Uh, so we've got Javante Davis. Oh, yes. I need to talk about that one, actually. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Like, this Javante guy. No. Yeah. All right, if Crawford felt like he was going to win, he would have took the Spence offer. Okay, he did. He did take He did take it. He took the zero, um, zero, yeah, zero guarantee. He did take it. What Crawford said, he just wants trans, um, transparency, yeah? He wants to see the paperwork. Like, what's wrong with, like, what's wrong with this guy, man? Like, tank. And to be honest with you, you know what you should do. You should focus on your own career. You know, obviously, you've left Mayweather. Because let's be real, don't get twisted. One of the most in, uh, exciting fighters in boxing. But if we really look at it, he ain't really done nothing. He ain't. Like, like I said, everyone talks about, oh, yeah, they did a Devin Haney. Devin Haney, yeah, well, look, Devin Haney's undisputed, isn't it? And Devin Haney's been chasing these fights. So... Yeah, why don't you focus on what you're doing? Let's see if you actually end up fighting Ryan Garcia. We don't know whether that's going to happen or not. Because I'm still, unless I tour, I see these two guys in a ring. Yeah. And I told you, we're living in an era where it's all matter of opinions and who you think will win the fight rather than actually going in there and fight, fighting. So, yeah. Uh, what's that shit? Oh, yeah. No. Da, 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 da. What else we got going on here? Ah, uh, yeah. You know what, Lopez? Why don't you, once again, the the reason why I think Haney wins is Loma isn't the same guy I faced in 2020. Yeah. Okay. So, now, don't get twisted. With the whole rematch clause thing, when it comes to Lomachenko, he didn't um, want a rematch clause, so I have no problem with that. So, why don't you, Lopez, step up and actually fight Haney? Yeah? You know, the man who beat the man, then beat the man. Why don't you, why don't you beat that man? So, yeah, a lot of talks. Uh, yeah, but, oh, yeah. Like I said, all the, like this thing is this is what I'm saying about when it comes to the whole boxing talk. That's a lot really, really down for this whole boxing talk because all it's just rumors. Like all I hear is rumors about like yeah, Javante saying that he hopes to face he he wants three fights in twenty three, uh, the third bout being either Stevenson or Haney. Okay. Well, let's wait and I'm going to hold you to, I'm going to hold you to your word. I'm going to hold you to your word. Because you, I, we both know, we both know the deal anyway. So, yeah, we've got, da, 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 da. yeah, this is going to be a fight. Yard and Baturbiev. And then I'll keep telling everyone, look, obviously I understand Baturbiev be a favourite, but do not doubt Yard. Do not doubt Yard in this fight, man. Because the energy that those guys bring, I'm telling you, they're, com they're coming, they're coming. So, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Yeah, this is a, see, that's the only thing with this whole boxing talk. It comes like a rumour thing, innit? Oh yeah, what's going to happen, what's not going to happen and all that kind of stuff there. Like, all I hear is, oh yeah, like for example, like, I know I'm going back on it, but Bob Aaron, um, Yusik, um, could get announced next week. Yeah, could. Should, would, will be getting announced. And that's what I don't hear. Predicts. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, we'll see how the fights go on this weekend and we'll take it from there. <sighs> that's all for me. It's Elijah Fern. Make sure you like, share comment subscribe 
and stay blessed everyone, all right? Cool.